Alrighty guys, welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode, where today we are hopefully finishing off Season 1, finishing Episode 8 here, and that way, so tomorrow on Monday, we can actually start playing Minecraft C Story Mode Season 2. But yeah, anyways, as you guys know, last time we got called here to Hadrian's office. And I got a little theory. So now, I noticed here that there's a bookcase in the background that we can actually go inspect. Now, the last three episodes, every time that there's been a bookcase that we can inspect, um, there's been a book from Soren. Uh, now, if you guys recall, Soren was one of the old members of the Order of the Stone. He was actually, I think, one of like the lead head members. No He's the guy that, that used the command block. A man forever voyaging by Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? See, another book by Soren, a man forever voyaging. Ooh, let's tap the glass and scare the bat. Psst, hey bat, hey batsy. Oops. Just look at the desk. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Oh, their arm those are armor stands that they have going up into that. I guess oh yeah, because that was was it these episodes slowly came out over a time when like Minecraft was starting to get a bunch of new stuff. So wow, like an all I think the first wall. three came out like back. Impressive. Oh, damn, that was almost eight. I can't remember exactly. But I know that this had, I believe, polar bears in it before Minecraft did. <laughs> like the actual Minecraft did. Like, they showed us the polar bears in this after they were teased to come out. Oh, let's just keep looking at it. I don't hey, want to take it. Hey, that's Tim guy's armor. It's Tim's armor. I, I want to take it, though. Welcome, Jesse. Oh, damn, fantastic there's Hadrian. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes. I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal? More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all... He's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that. They really believe in him. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. Ooh, I think this is where we're, we're going to find out Tim is a lie. He's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow... But I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Well, that doesn't sound like the deal we made. You trying to change our terms? Think of this as a shiny new deal. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. Hmm. Of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, How did my you know tree that? house? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mebia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> uh, oh! Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Jesse! Oh, damn, he got oh my him. gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. We've been trying to find you guys this whole time. It's been nuts. 
You mean Petra and Lucas are still with you? That's such a relief! Yeah, Ivor too. Oh, yay. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just... Wow, such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Ruben. What? Did they bring the pig back to life? No. Uh, Sup? Who's this guy? <sighs> I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Who, uh, who's that? Ruben, of course. No, he's not. Ruben's a pig. Uh, yeah, funny story. Name is Ruben, but yeah, not a pig. Nothing. <sighs> so you used the atlas to kidnap my friends and some random other... guy? Why? <laughs> yeah, incentive, Jesse. Incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever, or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No. Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? You're messing with the wrong guy. And his friends. Yeah, they're awesome. Just being supportive? I'm not messing with anyone. I'm just trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Mm. Wow. What do I do here? Tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah, except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. Oh, yeah, no, I take that back. It's a terrible deal. You have a deal. Jesse! Hey, there we go, sport fans! Well, I tell you, I'm pretty excited about this. I think we're all winners here. But just to be sure you don't <laughs> try and renege on me, we'll keep your friends nice and safe in here. Remember, they're counting on you. Slab, be a pal and give our new friend a walk home. Sure thing. Uh, Come on, squishy. Uh, 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 I, uh, I don't know if that was the right decision. Ah, oh, damn it. Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. You didn't take it, right? Oh, dear. No! Why would you do that? Oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my. I'd have never let you do this. Petra, come on. I'm sure Jesse feels bad enough as it is. I did it to save you guys. That's what this has all been about. But you'll be trapped. Probably forever. And he'll have the Redstone Heart. Yeah, but at least I know you guys will be free. That's ridiculous. There's no way Hadrian will actually send your friends home. He'll wait till you lose and then send you all to the mines anyway. Probably. While claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But... What about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by them. If you Maybe we are able to back out of this deal. I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the Atlas, but I'm going to need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good. There's three of them. They're in Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? 
Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Okay. Dang it. I gotta do a speech. The old builders make you all compete in the games. Event after event after event. They build up hope, but they're still controlling everything. They'll never really let anyone win unless we work together. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do. More than anything. But... Nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh, yeah. Because if we, we were We gotta tell him it. No, we gotta go with it. Long time ago. That's right. Tim did beat the games, and so can we! <laughs> yeah, sure. Except nobody's been able to do it since Tim. So what's the point? And it's not like I haven't been trying. We all have. So what, you're just gonna quit because it's hard? No. I'm just saying that we don't exactly stand a chance against those stupid gladiators. The stories didn't exactly say what Tim did to beat them. Yeah. I mean, well, it's like an inspiring idea and all that, but those gladiators are like super tough. And I don't know how Tim pulled off beating them, but okay, look. For real, I don't think I could do that. Like, max level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, no, I mean totally OP. Those gladiators are a bunch of tough cookies. Definitely true. No way any of you stand a chance against them. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But that's just because you've never had a leader to help you make a plan. You've never... Oh, I get it now. And with my help, we're gonna do this even better than Tim did. We're gonna do it as a team. Okay, that one did not work. It's very oddly inspiring. Yeah! Hopefully. Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Hopefully Em remembers Man, that. I kind of feel so bad because we messed up her one? deal last Wait, episode. so who are we fighting then? <sighs> okay. Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah. That last game is all or nothing. I gotta well, win the I game. We'll find out for sure I got to. <sighs> I might have. I thought I was gonna be able to get Tim's armor because I saw somebody's thumbnail with it. I think I missed my chance. To be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game. That's right, Adrian. And not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls. The walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. You can tell me if you were scared. Yeah, I should have I hit Y on accident, damn it. Listen to the rules. Don't worry, huh? They're just about to get to the important part. Maybe, uh, for those unfamiliar with the walls, 
You want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Oh, Adrian. I actually kind of remember this. Teams this actually used to be a really fun game mode. Sections, divided by Although the it was a lot bigger wall. than this. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, Like, there would be, like, huge ones where there was even cave systems underneath. The walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that gonna be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Whatever, I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials, because that clock is ticking! Dog! Well, hopefully it's Damn not it, all... Damn we're gonna have to fight the gladiators as well. Adrian, I can't help but notice that our newcomer Jesse's Anything? section has a disproportionate amount of dirt and gravel. Nope, just dirt. Oh, funny how Come the on! Like it's all part of a plan. Or a deal. Hilarious. Yep, just dirt. If I didn't convince people to join up with that speech, I'm gonna need something to work with. Uh, gravel, I guess? Just get all this stuff gravel? I can. Gravel? That's worse than dirt! What do I have? I saw something there on the wall. Maybe... I'm guessing that's the eponymous wall. Can I build up on it? Is there anything I can do? Make a dirt golem? <laughs> Got a pumpkin. Um, yeah. We can't do anything. We are, uh, quite literally. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mevia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down. Uh, this should be interesting. There. Competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. <clears throat> Hang on now, we em got movement. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. You seem pretty sure you're about to kill me. Are you with us or not? Oh, ye of little faith. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. I think M's with us. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna trust comes. M. The finishing blow. What? <gasps> yep, she's with us. Thought I'd try giving that friends thing a shot. It appears Emily has opted to not strike down the unarmed newcomer. And Thank you, you made the right decision. Well, you could say you really inspired me. Oh, well, that could, but don't. This isn't... this isn't how it was supposed to go. What's going on? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah, why aren't you all killing each other? Yeah, see, usually all the little teams kill each other. Yeah, and, and then we kill whoever's left. Aren't you tired of letting the old builders use you like this? Like, uh, like awesome people? No, like little pieces in their games, doing whatever they say. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that Jesse has decided that deals don't need to be kept and is trying to convince the gladiators to follow suit. You are not going to bully us. Wait, wait, wait. Hadrian's the bully, not us. Woo! That's a relief. Oh, imbeciles! Slab! Slab! 
What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Face me finds that idea weird. Come on, slab. No. Going with them, slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. But you, when I was mean to you, pushed you around and made you go to the tower with me, you got that I was just doing my job and came anyway so we could be on time. That was real considerate. I will join you, Tiny Jesse. I think it's time for us to finish this together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. A two slab. You'll pay for that. This wasn't the deal, Jesse. No, no! And they've done it! The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the winners! Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them? No, we are not. They all win. No! no! Levia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. We had a deal. And you broke it, bucko! We're in agreement! You promised me! And to think we let you compete! You should be ashamed of yourselves manipulating all these people like this! How dare you! This isn't up to you! We control the games! We decide their outcome! Mevia... Shut up, Otto! This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun! Seems like you're losing your temper there, Mevia. What's the matter, not having fun anymore? Why, you little... Now, Mevia, Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay... Otto! Hey, Mevia, what are you doing? Now, it's been fun, really, but I think it's about time we end this. Surrender the Redstone Heart. Now. Now. Because, uh, I will trap you here. Forever. You want the Redstone Heart? You're gonna have to pick it out of my inventory. Fine by me. The hard way's more fun anyway. Ah! Oh, this is useless. Well, well. Just when you thought M had... M, come back! Well, now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. I'm still with you, Jesse. Thank you. Well, I'm You're still gonna need got all her back. the help you can get, Jesse. Oh, okay. Take what is mine. <laughs> He's got a shield? Quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. Oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian! Uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. That one didn't even give me an option. No, no! Slab! It was an honor to fight for Slab! Oh, no! Please tell me he responds. Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skills. But you're still no way. We'll Let's see about that. I got this, Hadrian! <laughs> Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right! This has gone too far! It was just supposed to be a game! You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you... forgive me? <laughs> <gasps> oh, my sword's this gone. Game is... No! <laughs> and that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners. Oh, no. <laughs>
I... I lost. Hey, fancy meeting you here. You know, I've sent hundreds of competitors to these respawn pits. Never knew it hurt so much. Sorry, that's probably not helping your mood right now. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us! Yeah! I'm so happy to see you guys. I know you said you were done helping me, but I hope you can give me another chance. You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. As someone once told me, teamwork makes the dream work. So let's get to work. Let's take them down. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, suspenders. Over here. Oh, yeah. No, I get Tim's armor. armor. Belongs to you now. Give me. Time to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. We do the sword. Ooh, yeah, nice choice. Bad. Sweet. Pay that ah, time. Eliminate! Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Oh, maybe I should have well, done Nadia, the double pickaxe so I could free everyone. Eternity in the quartz mines. Doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime. Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? I'm gonna make you beg me for a deal. Seems unlikely. We don't beg sport. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, why? Pick pick we got the pick axes, no Jesse. I can't talk. Insidious. Harper, I'm gonna owe you one. Time to go to work. No, no, it can't be! You just made me a give up! <gasps> oh, she's dead. Wow, her inventory was huge. Mavia, come on! What kind of rookie move is that? Ta-ta oh. for now, bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of us. Go, Jesse! I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Let's take him to the slab lab. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm still workshopping that one. Shut up. Let's go. Jesse... Let's talk about this. No, there's no talking. Hmm, is that begging? Does that sound like begging to you, Petra? It sure does, Jesse. Told you. Shut up. Just shut up. Alia, shut up. I see you don't like having a live audience, Hadrian. Jesse, remember Splee. Got it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, Mevia, we have to get out of here. Come on. No, you're not. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, 
guys. How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best. And you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on, hang on! I... Jesse, you did it! Again! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I've come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Where do I send them? Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? Which would you rather fight? And that's when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. Is that all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. That's what I do. Exploring new worlds, helping people wherever I go. I was happy to help. Well, I'm very grateful. What you did won't be forgotten anytime soon. And I'm gonna help too. You taught me a lot about fairness, Jesse. And I'd like to use that new knowledge for something good. Oh, and speaking of fairness, I think this is yours. Oh, man. There was some good stuff in there. I was really moved. Awesome. I guess he wasn't so immovable after all. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends, but one of them bored. Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, huh, really? Like, really? Yeah, we could always use another awesome person, and... Well, you're pretty awesome. Oh, Jesse! That's wonderful! Oh, thank you so much! Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello! What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. You're being a creep. Lonely. Got it. Come on. You're I said that one. Amazing. <laughs> I wanted to hit so, the other one though. How do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? I now should have let Ivor go with Harper. Go. I'm sorry. And the I messed Atlas up. We'll show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, book. Take us home. Whoa. Spectacular. Incredible. Wow. Nice. The wood one with the gold on top. There it is. Got it. That's our world. Home. Remember it. I assume M told you that she's coming with? 
Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. We back, we home. Our stuff's still here. The pig's still mounted on the wall. I can't believe they still did that to him. Why would you do that? It's a little messed up. They framed the pork chop. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it, we're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, that's lovely. Ah, oh, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh, man. That's even creepier looking than I imagined. The Palma's Redstone, Redstone Heart. Heart. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The and lastly, the Atlas. books. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh? I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Mm. Sorry. Everyone keep an eye on him. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Um, Jesse? What's up, Lucas? So, I've been writing stuff in here, you know? And, well, it's kind of become like a legitimate book. But there's just one problem. I still need to put what happened to you. You've, well, you've been the hero of this whole story. It wouldn't be right to end it without saying what happened to the hero. Just say, and he couldn't have done it without his friends. You know something? I really like that. There. Done. Well, tell the next one, anyway. I was thinking that maybe we could put it in here with the other treasures. I know it's not as cool as, like, a portal atlas. That's a great idea, Lucas. It's perfect. The first chapter of the Adventures of the New Order of the Stone. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Where, yeah, that was definitely you, where you no, put it. No, you guys, guys. Who took their eyes off of Ivor? Too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Eh, yeah, he'll be back <laughs> eventually. Everything we've been through, <laughs> yeah, he'll come back. Finally trust him. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go home. Quite literally, just like, yeah, he'll be fine. You can probably hear my mom yelling for one of my dogs right now. But I think that's it. That should be the end of season one. We're going to look over the chapters here. I think there's a lot of these that are... So apparently 
surprisingly letting Ivor go, not go after, uh, what's her, I can't remember her name, isn't a critical. But yeah. So if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And also, if you want to go above and beyond, I do offer YouTube channel memberships. They're just not that great. Uh, mostly what you get is just a special title in the Discord. So, yeah. Anyways, this has been Gunshy Mori signing off. Peace. Peace.